Hello everyone, this video has been brought to you by Unacademy. My name is Mohit Gupta and in this video we will be continuing with the DDA algorithm also called as the Digital Differential Analyzer algorithm. In the previous video I talked about how DDA works. Now let us solve an example so that you can get it more clearer. We have to plot a line from A to B. So let us find the slope first. So, how do we find the slope? 8 minus 3 upon 12 minus 2 that is 5 upon 10 or 0 0.5 this is the slope. We see that the slope is less than 1. So, we will be plotting points x comma round of y x will increment by x plus 1 and y will increment by and y will be y plus 0 0.5 times of 1 this y is the y from the previous iteration and this x is the x from the previous iteration so now let us begin let me just label these columns x plotted y plotted so initially we have 2 comma 3 this point will be plotted as it is then we increment x by 1 so this becomes 3 and we calculate the new y y will be the previous y plus 0 0.5 that is 3.5 x will be plotted as it is we have slope less than 1 so x will be plot plotted as it is and y will be plotted by rounding of 3.5 it becomes 4 now x is incremented new y is calculated 3.5 plus 0.5 that is 4 so both the points 4 comma 4 will be plotted x is incremented by 1 new y will be calculated 4 plus 0 0.5 4.5 so rounding off we get 5 comma 5 now we increment this and the new y will be calculated 4.5 plus 0 0.5 that is 5 so 6 comma 5 will be plotted again we do the same procedure calculate the new y by adding 0 0.5 to the previous y and rounding off we keep on doing the same procedure till we reach the point required that is 12 comma 8 x has to become 12 so we will have 10 iterations 12 minus 2 10 iterations so we will continue the same procedure we will add 6.5 plus 5.5 that is 7 and we plot this point again we do do the same thing and finally we reach the point required so that is how the DDA plots the points what are the computations required in DDA we have this round function that is a complex function and we have floating point additions as as you saw that 0 0.5 was being added to the previous values so we have these two computations required in DDA in total at each every iteration four floating point and two integer additions are happening
so that are those these are the computations required for the DDA algorithm the rounding and floating point operations are pretty expensive in terms of computational power and speed and they slow down the plotting of points that's why we have another algorithm that is called Bresenham's algorithm for line drawing that has only integer operations you can check out the channel youtube.com slash an academy for the Bresenham's, Bresenham's algorithm and you can also subscribe to this channel more videos in the same series are the previous video of this DDA line algorithm explaining the working of the DDA if you have any doubts or queries you can tweet to me at hi underscore Mohit Gupta or you can tweet directly to the an academy also or you can leave a comment in the comment section of this video Thank you. Thanks for watching.